Yes, it healthy. looks so healthy. And it should feel healthy. Hey guys, so I'm here at KK and we are about to start this treatment. So first we're gonna put some delicious, yummy, what's it called? Glory. Moisture Matrix, yeah. Yes, we're gonna put some Moisture Matrix in and it has coconut oil, mm -hmm. almond oil, olive oil, and peppermint extract. Yes. And this is going to do what? So all this is going to do is make sure you're in Texas and therefore the humidity is terrible here. So this is going to make sure that your hair retains moisture. So it's going to hold on to the moisture that we put in it. Okay. Yep. Awesome. So we're going to apply it. And also we put the peppermint in it and the citrus in there because if you're not taking your vitamins like vitamin C or whatnot, it's not coming from the inside out. And therefore we're going to apply it so that it can uh, maintain moisture. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. What does it mean when it takes them to effect? Okay, so that means that the moisture it gets soft very fast. Like how I have to see you have to Yeah. See Ooh, that? See? Yeah. No, not that doesn't mean you have bad. Okay. But you see, but now when it it just took look. Wow. See what I'm saying? Wow. And that's a big difference. Yeah, it is. So a look, big you have the full hair, but look. It's completely good. Fit. So do I have like so it's, it's like good hair, right? You have good hair. <laughs> But I have 4C hair. Yes. I have 4C hair, right? You have gray hair. There's nothing wrong with your hair. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what's going on with your hair. It's dehydrated. Oh. See that? Now look in the camera and you see how this is longer and wow. this is short. Because yeah. now it's hydrated. Yeah. So now you have it looks hydrated. good. Hydrated. Yes. <laughs> so we have to keep it hydrated. So how do you keep it hydrated? So the way that you can keep it hydrated, I always tell my clients citrus. Citrus is everything. Oh, wow. So Lemon? A vitamin C oh, oil. Oh, vitamin C oil. Yeah. If you get a vitamin C oil, if you get the lemon, you're more clean with it and you okay. don't want to clean everything out okay you don't to clean everything out there we have to keep yeah our juices and berries in. yeah so I get you a vitamin c which is so in just there. taking vitamin c like daily or yes, you can take your vitamin c daily or you can apply it every okay. other day you can get vitamin c oils from drug emporium okay mm -hmm. or you can go get vitamin c capsules from walgreens and put them on your scalp oh wow but look at that wow so that's what a deep Moisturizing because it should yeah. feels really good. Mm -hmm. but wait and you make this it. yourself? I make it myself. Do you sell it? Yes, I do sell Ooh. it. I'm waiting for my other labels to get this in because good. I sold out at the um at the we have the uh, what is it called Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. every Saturday. Yeah, yeah that everyone wants moisture. No, this is now. good. See how you no, yeah, that? I I can feel it. Yeah. I like I believe you. Like I don't even look at it. <laughs> I believe you. It, it feels is soft. heavenly. Yes, and then I have a leave in. That uh, avocado spray right there, that mm -hmm. quick spray, and you're gonna take that home with you. Okay. And you can twist it and we can spray oh. But look at that. Look at that. Wow. Can you feel it? Yes. Mm. It looks so good and luscious. Yes. The curls are just pop popping. Yes. That's what you want. So I you're gonna be it. doing this, but you're gonna have to sit on the dryer for 10 minutes. Ten okay. 12 minutes, okay? So now good. let me tell you why I put you on the dryer. I normally allow people to um just let their their body heat do it, mm -hmm. but then it's raining outside. Yeah, so yeah. your body heat is not gonna be like if it was ninety degrees. Mm -hmm. we put them in different sections is to make sure that the hair can actually have its turn this plait needs to be hydrated this plait needs to be hydrated this plait so you don't want to put it all together because if you put it all together then it's not going to be an right. even um, mm -hmm. dis uh, distribution distribution yeah. thank you no so now, yes, it healthy. looks so healthy and it should feel healthy 
Wow. So that is a that moisture matrix. That deep, um, the deep conditioner one. The, this yes. is it, it. This is it. This is it. I'm never going back yes. <laughs> to anything else. Yes. Wow. So it feel very, very good. It's like it looks how good. much your hair has expanded. Right. No more shrinkage. Wow. No more. Because dehydration, so your scalp and everything you get dehydrated too. No matter how much water you're drinking, you still need to apply. Yeah. yeah. So, so what are some good. tips for 4C hair? So right. 4C hair, the main thing that you need to do is always have a deep moisturizing, a deep conditioning. But the deep conditioning de does need to apply heat mm -hmm. so that it can hold the moisture yeah. in. So 4C hair would do whatever you desire for it to do as long as you moisturize and you hydrate it. And so the one that I mixed with you was... Um, the oils, the almond oil, the tea tree oil, the peppermint oil, and the citrus. And this right here, you have to mix it with certain steps, like so much of this, so much of that. Yeah. But when you mix it, it has a great combination, and this is where you get the moisture from. Yeah. So we're going to go and we're going to rinse you out. Then we're going to come back, and we have avocado oil, and we're going to let that soak, and it's going to stay. We'll braid you down and get you ready. Awesome. You one thing you have to do after you moisturize a year, but did a moisture treatment, and then you're like, Oh my god, it's so hard. You have to go back with some glycerin. You have to go back with glycerin. So, this is some glycerin? Yes, this is avocado glycerin, and I literally made this. Wow. Uh huh. And I'm gonna give it to it's you. avocado today. glycerin? Yes, ma'am. So, basically, it's avocado oil, and then I mix the glycerin with it because if you put an oil, it's gonna be slippery. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And you don't want that. And I'll let you smell it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, your ends don't need trimming. They don't. They're a little thin, a little weak, just because you've been tying them up. Mm -hmm. See that? But yeah. no, we're not gonna trim them. Let's let it grow. Okay. Let's let it grow a little bit. I'm not gonna. <laughs> they don't need to be. Right, because you know. It's gonna be honest. So with how you. how often would you say a natural hair person to six to eight weeks? Ooh, that smells so good. Yep. So that's about what four, eight, two, two months. Yep. Yeah, every two months. Yeah. And it's according to how much you, how much you grow. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna yeah. be different. Yeah. So what does a trim essentially do for your hair? So what what I do for this hair? Like what does a trim do for your hair? Um, sure. allow that it takes the split ends away mm -hmm. so that the good hair can go ahead and push through and grow. Mm -hmm. That's all it's gonna do. For yeah. Your hair. That's what a trim does. So say for instance, you have split ends here. We trim and we take the split ends off and now the good hair can continue to grow. To grow. I have loose curls in the back though. I'm mixed in the back. Yeah. I'm mixed in the back and I'm full Nigerian in the front. Girl. That's what I be telling people because yeah. clearly the back is such a loose curl. The reason why is because of blood flow. It's oh. the way you make your hair because your scalp. You have blood flow. This is how your hair wow. grows. Yeah. So I don't have blood flow up here. It's probably don't move this as fluid. You need to massage my head. At the, you need to massage your head. Oh. You need to oil mix from your scalp. Do you oil your scalp? Not really. What, I, what should I oil it with? You can do coconut oil. It's according to the season. But people always say, oh, don't use coconut oil. It's not good for your hair. It dries it out. Uh -uh. Coconut oil does not. It's according to one time. Like I said, it's according to the season. season. Right Right now, it's going to be olive oil because we we in the winter months. And then you don't want it to clog your pores. Right. But yeah, you can do coconut oil. Yeah. Now, you ain't lying. Your front is different. It's just right here. here. It's just right there. Just I'm right not there. sure, you know, what that's all about, but uh, it's annoying. I'm like, this is so this nice is and, you know, loose curl and the front you, is do like. Do you leave, leave out some light? No, never, huh? never. It's just, this is how the texture has been all my life. I've noticed it. Because I was like, ooh, and I was tempted to texturize and get it to match, but I'm like, look. No, I don't do that. So what's this one? 
So this is the botanical silver smoke stone. Uh -huh. So it's a um, silencer. Basically, it's supposed to go in if you do have um, split ends or whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to like relax them okay. down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So y'all, what I'm trying to do um, now is that your girl got a little scissor happy on her bangs um, with the wig that I just actually put a video up with. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check it out. It should pop up right here or it'll be in my description bar below. Um, so I actually got scissor happy, you know, and I cut my bangs um, really uneven. So KK is going to help me even them out and make them look more natural. Um, and also gonna like tack the wig down so it's like on my head and not, you know, coming off every night when I wanna go to bed. But um, yeah, so we're gonna work on that and after that we're gonna wrap up and I'll be done here. And also, um, when you take your wig off and on and for me, I put on turbans in between. Um, that friction isn't good for your edges and I can testify <laughs> that my edges have been lacking. They've been missing. So um, definitely wanting to make sure that this wig stays tacked down and not like taking it off and on, off and on, shifting and, you know, shaping it um, because my poor edges are being like, you know, that friction is not good for it. So um, we're going to go ahead and like tack it down and sew it down so that it does stay on and I can just like wake up and... You know, I woke up like this kind of ordeal. So um, that's the plan. That's better. Yeah. Because it makes it look less like, you know what I mean? Like less bulky. That's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the things were naturally thin, so I literally had to take like hair from the back and cut it and bring it. I forward. saw that. You saw that. I had to even it out on the other side. <laughs> but you did good. That was good. Right. It was a good strategy. really good it is pinned down so I won't have to take it off and on and kind of have that friction that I do not want the bangs look great so the bangs are back and um, yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy just kind of like the natural hair tips in the video let me know and if you're ever in Waco make sure you come by and check out hair ego I'm going to link them in the description bar below and I'm gonna have like their account and what they do and also like some of these really really great like products that they actually make in the store I will have them below if they are accessible in this season so um, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe like this video comment below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!